Well, let's go in, Pippin. Look at this here. Somebody left the keys in the door. And guess who did that? Let's hope nobody's home. It's still light out. I'm gonna have to check the time real quick. Welcome back and welcome to the cabin. Tasha's still in uh, Wasilla at the homestead. She's got a few more things to do um, tomorrow and probably all Sunday. And then hopefully by Sunday evening, I'm gonna run into town, Talkeetna, and I'm gonna pick her up and bring her out here. And then we'll spend a few, a few days out here at the cabin this time. So we've got a little more time. We're super excited. Uh, the only thing what didn't cooperate yet is the weather. It's actually really warm. It's like 38, 39 degrees right now, and it's uh, already 8.45. So uh, we were hoping it's a little colder to where the snow is getting nice and crisp on top and we can snowshoe easy, snow machine, all that, and get a lot of work done outside in the woods here. So that's not the case yet. So hopefully it'll cool off a little bit tomorrow and we see a little bit of sun to make this whole trip a little bit more uh, pleasant. And like I said, we can get some stuff done on the outside, especially uh, hauling logs in t uh, for the song. Well, we got everything on. We got our snowshoes on. We got the backpack, uh, got a little bit of gear. And uh, first we're gonna head down to the spring, see what it looks like down there. And also I wanna put the uh, the trail in. So from now on, it's a little easier to get water up and down. And I wanna try out and see uh, if the snowshoes I'm using today are the ones we wanna use because it's right around 35 degrees already. And uh, I'm not sure if I sink in or not, but I used a different pair this time anyway we're gonna try it out and see how they feel and as you can see snow is pretty deep very crispy as well yeah it looks pretty good feels pretty good i'm not singing in so that's a good thing our spring. Way down there it is. There's our axe from the last time. And I'm literally sitting on top of a snow drift. But we have water. I'm gonna take this all off here. We can get that water bottle down in there. Let's see if I can reach in there. There you go. And we'll just take this off to you a little bit more. Okay, put some snow underneath the bottle here so it's in a slight angle and the water goes straight into it. 
It'll take a little longer than usual, but at least we have water. Today I'm going to have to spend time to actually relax, do a little bit of snowshoeing around the property and even uh, maybe a little bit into the deeper woods. And uh, I want to show you here in a minute what I'm after this weekend. Or I should say the entire week. We're not just here for the weekend this time. show you there's our sauna the start of our sauna and uh, we're trying to find a lot of logs in the next few days here and bring them in and probably place them all about right here and then we're just gonna wait for uh, spring to get up here as well to where all this uh, snow is melted off as you can see, there's quite a bit, but it can go fast because we have lots and lots of daylight anymore now and it's getting warmer even during the day, I mean, during the night and it'll melt the snow pretty quick. So hopefully by uh, early May, all this is gone. And I'm gonna show you what I'm after and I'm trying to find spruce trees, dead spruce trees killed by the beetle and uh, cut them down and literally just get what we need for our sauna so about 12 foot long logs. I'm gonna try to walk with my snowshoes and find these trees, maybe tomorrow morning, depending on the temperature. We start taking the snow machine out and start cutting these trees down and haul them into the sauna. And right here is the very first one I'm kind of aiming for. I just need to find out if I can bring the snow machine right about here and then turn and bring it up this little hill here. There it is, it's perfect size. It's been standing here for a, a couple of years, I think, the way it is. So uh, definitely one tree we can use. And then right over here, so not too far from this one, there's another one. This one's a little more tricky, but I think I can get the snow machine right through here. Hopefully I can drop the tree in that area and then haul it out back to the open and then straight back up to the cabin, which is right here. So there's something very interesting I want to show you guys for sure. So we had the beetle come in here in this whole entire area and we lost a lot of trees and a huge fire hazard up here if there is a bushfire. In other words, make sure the cabin's protected. So by doing that, by taking all these trees down, we actually created something really cool. So I'm gonna show you that. So all these trees here, they are super healthy and they've been growing very fast and healthy. They're all nice and green and we have a lot of new growth in between so it's kind of how nature uh, you know has a plan they take out the old sick trees even sometimes we don't want to really see that happening because they're nice big trees but look at all these new ones right now like all these here years ago they were just tiny crooked little trees and now they get lots of sun lots of water and they are growing really really healthy and now we're gonna work our way up back to the cabin, create this trail. I'm gonna go right through here and over to the sauna. And there's another one. This is actually the perfect size for us. So that would make it about five. Pretty tall guy. So back here, it's all pretty level. <clears throat> so it doesn't require a whole lot of climbing with the snow machine. And we're pretty close to our main trail. 
and everything back here as you can see pretty open so there should be plenty of room for us to turn the snow machine around and all we need to find now is a few more trees and i think we're actually in a good spot Well, we hiked the uh, entire perimeter around the cabin, back on the trail and everything. So we found a lot of trees and uh, it's looking really good for us. So the only thing we need to hope for now is a little bit of a drop in the temperature. And then one morning here, this coming week, we're gonna hop on the snow machine, get the chainsaw and cut these trees down, bring it back to the sauna. So everything's looking good. I think that's what I want the sauna to look like. Um, I did this drawing because I want to figure out what what it looks like if we go up to about six feet with the logs and then uh, on top we're going to frame this in and use uh, bark boards or one by six rough cut lumber and go uh, vertically the size of the window and also the width of the door. So it kind of looks a little more proportional. The uh, fireplace we're going to place probably is somewhere over here. So we're close to the, the peak as far as snow sliding off. I just wanted to see what it looks like. So I think I'm going to go with this drawing here. It's pretty much to proportions or scale. So I think we can do it. Well, it's uh, not as cold as I was hoping for. It's only uh, 38 degrees. So I was hoping it's gonna drop down to 25 and uh, make the, uh, the top of the snow a little bit uh, more crisp. Anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna fire up the snow machine, load everything up, and we're gonna snow machine over to the area we talked about yesterday and see what the, how well the snow machine does and if, if it all works out good we'll just keep going but we're going to grab three trees over here um, bring them back to the sauna and then we'll go a little deeper into the woods and uh, get some more
I think this is as uh, wide as, or thick as I want to go. So I'm going to measure 12 feet from here on, cut all these limbs off, and then I'm going to get the snow machine back down here, and hopefully I can get it uh, situated, loaded up, and we'll haul it back to the cabin. Feels a little bit more like 10 trees I cut. I'm sweating and it took me about an hour and a half. But really all we have is two trees. So I think I'm gonna go deeper into the woods and find a spot where it's a little easier, less time consuming and see what we can do. Because if it's going that pace, it's gonna take me the rest of the week. <laughs> so let's see what we can do up the trail, the one we walked yesterday, and snowshoot, and hopefully we get a few more trees out. So right here, we got three trees. They're all pretty close together. So I'm gonna find a safe spot for the snow machine, and we're gonna cut them down at the same time, clean them, and then we'll haul them in. Okay, so this is our first one, and it's usually not that easy because there's always another tree next to them, so, and you don't wanna drop them somewhere where you can't get them out. So I'm going to try to drop it right behind me towards my snow machine. If I'm real lucky, it's going to land right here. I can hook it up and pull it. So hopefully that works out.
it's getting sticky. Well, there's a few logs. It's a good start. I was hoping we get some more today, but it's almost 60 degrees right now. It's unbelievable. It's the snow is getting really soft. The snow machine's having a hard time going into uh, new areas where I haven't been or packed anything down. So I think I'm going to call it a day as far as logging goes. Um, hopefully, it'll cool off again tonight. And uh, if it's if that's the case, then we'll go back out first thing in the morning and keep logging in that area. So we we're about a mile and a half away from here, so not not too far. And uh, there is a bunch more. So let's hope it's going to get a little colder tonight, and we'll be back tomorrow. Well, there's uh, a little bit of work left up here at the bedroom. So we're gonna go finish the paneling all the way up over across the door. And then I'm gonna finish the, uh, the finish trim on and around the door. And then in the corners, and I think we can call this bedroom done. So Tasha's is gonna be up here most likely Monday. So I would like to have it all finished so we can get everything cleaned out before she shows up and kind of give her a little surprise. And she's not seen the uh, the new light or the finish on the entire wall over here. So that's going to be exciting to show her that we can get this all done and then we can really enjoy our bedroom up here. Get it all nice and nice and neat, clean. And then when you wake up, it's just different when you're not walking around with tools and or stepping over tools and over uh, wood laying around here and sometimes sawdust. So I'm actually really excited. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't take me that long. It's not a whole lot. And we're actually at a height right now where it's a little more comfortable to, to work with. So let's get it done. <laughs>
All right, now we're gonna do the trim. One trim here, and then we'll run one trim all the way down. Same on the other side, one here, and then just the, the finish trim around the uh, door opening. this wood out of here. I might have to put one more trim down here just to match the other side. And I think that's it. Just the door. And we don't have to look at plastic anymore in here. That is awesome. Super exciting. 